Well, hello there, folks. Welcome again back to the channel. It is all about racing. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a 1604 scale Tarmac Works Hobby 64 Ferrari 488 GTE. Uh, this is the number 51 car, and if you follow racing at Le Mans, uh, this is this SMP car is always one of the better performers. I mean, if it's if it's not leading the race, it's winning. Uh, I mean, it's it's a proven winner. There's no question about it. In this particular uh, livery, this was the uh, the winner of the LMGTE Pro Class in 2019 with factory drivers James Collado, Alexander Perguidi, and Daniel Sura. Guys, they don't get any better than this. Uh, and this is just one absolutely beautiful, and I mean, just a gorgeous model of that uh, of that winning car. Um, and you know, the one thing I like about Tarmac work, and I, you know, and I'll, I'll tell you, this model I particularly like. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, is the cool bases that they come on this one? Obviously, you, you just take a look at the design of it. It follows the livery of the car, and that's what Tarmac works does really well. Uh, they, their plastic bases come with jewel covers, like you can see here, uh, as well as an exterior box. And the box usually gives you the very basics about the car and the team, and that's usually just about it. Uh, the back of this one really does absolutely nothing for you, but uh, but does give you all the official licensing and everything else on the bottom, as you can expect from Tarmac Works. Now, looking at the car... Uh, and also, well, I forgot one more thing, too, to say about it. Uh, these are, quote-unquote, limited edition uh, vehicles. You get these nice cards that come with it, you know, that says this is a 64-scale model, limited edition product, uh, blah, blah, blah. Number 1,532 out of 0, 0, 0, 0, which is basically 9,999, and that's like 10,000 cars. Uh, but anyhow, uh, that's not what drives me to buy the car. It's the car itself. And I got to tell you, folks, if you if you own this car, if you haven't got it, and I, it's widely available on eBay right now as we speak. I mean, right now, uh, this is one of the coolest ones you can get. They have just done a phenomenal job uh, with this particular car. Uh, the one thing I will say about it that I'm not impressed with, and that did, really does surprise me with uh, uh, with Tarmac Works, is the wheels of it, which just they're, they're not the best that uh, the Tarmac Works has done. Uh, tires look good, wheels are just not real impressive. Uh, and another thing that you notice, and I'll just talk about the weaknesses before we get to the strengths, and there are many, is the glue is really heavy on the antenna here, uh, which is really visible. Uh, and that, that's 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 a real drawback, uh, and it, it's the first I've seen with the Tarmac. Uh, works car that I have, uh, that I have purchased. And, and guys, I have about 20 of these things. Um, and you know, they've all been very, very good. You know, this particular car is just a fantastic car. It's a great car. The livery is timeless. It, it never changes. It, it's always the same, which is not a bad thing. Uh, it's instantly recognizable every time you see it, uh, because of the complexity of the, uh, of the driver's side mirror, you really can't see interior details from the driver's side. So you can kind of take that out of the equation. But if you look at, at the one, and we'll go along at the front of the car here, and it's kind of hard to see in this 164 scale um, with this camera, but the front splitter is done beautifully in carbon fiber trim. And I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. I was hoping there's someone may I might be able to show it to you, and you might be able to see a little bit there. It's also very complex how it, how it runs around. It has this real steep lip at the very, very front of the car. And as usual, they have done a really good job with the uh, with the grill work there. And I'm going to pull this back so you can see that uh, tow hook uh, right where you'd expect it there. Um, I mean, just just got just a really really nice job on the on that uh, pull back of the base, and the base is really nice. You know, it says Ferrari 40 GT 24 Hour Le Mans 2019 um, IXO Tarmac Works. You know, just. And just look at look at the way the base just flows with the uh, the livery of the car. I mean, they just they just do really good work. And from the front here, you can kind of see the interior of the cabin. You know, it is uh, it, it's cleared out. You can clearly see the driver's uh, seat. You can see the seat belts, the steering wheel, um, computer screen, and a lot of the inner uh, workings of the car. The mirrors are nicely done, if not unspectacular, but still they did a pretty good job with it. The uh, the headlights I think look phenomenal. And the front of the car is, is just, just absolutely gorgeous. Decals are well-placed. Um, I don't see any flaws there with that. I mean, they have just done a really, really good job uh, with this. Let me turn around. We'll get a little look here from the side. And 
particularly like the way the, the the blue just stands out against the red. I mean, it's just it's just good looking. I mean, let's let's just face it. And I love this livery. I do not have this car in one forty three scale. God, I wish I did. Uh, Spark does make it. It's ungodly expensive, and I just haven't been able to pick one up for a price point that uh, that I can live with. Um, I do try to find bargains in these things. I just don't buy any car, uh, you know. So. There are a lot of ones that are on my wish list, on my watch list, actually on eBay that I just haven't picked up because I couldn't get a deal on them. But this one, I mean, just everything that they did is just, the, the detail is phenomenal. I have no idea what this says on the dashboard. I suspect it has something to do with the team for the television cameras. Uh, you can see there's the uh, there's, a, there's a light screen there. You've got... You got the pull tabs on here. I mean, this thing looks like it's a like it's a 143 scale car and 164 scale. It's just absolutely amazing the uh, the details that and and the, the workmanship that Tarmac Works has done with this. You know, these things are they're hand built uh, and they do just a really good job. They do a lot of things you don't get with Sparky and with uh, and with Mini GT, uh, which is why if I'm going to buy a 164 scale car, I will always pick a Tarmac Work above the others. Uh, the only limitation with Tarmac Works is the limitation of, of the brands that they are licensed to produce. They don't have Porsches. They don't have Corvettes. They don't have Bentleys. They don't have BMWs. Uh, it's pretty much just uh, Mercedes AMG and Ferraris. But, you know, there are enough of them to get that, uh, that make me happy. That's a good look at the engine bay. Really nicely done again. And pull out a little bit. And now my favorite part of I, I, the Ferrari 48 is just one of my favorite cars. And they have, I, you know, this, I, I swear, I look at this and I think this is a 143 scale and I keep forgetting it's 164 scale. I mean, you know, the taillights are exceptional. Uh, you can see the uh, uh, the input right next to the right tail light for the air jack, even little pull tab on it. You've got a tow hook, you have the rear diffuser, you have the exhaust nicely done. And the rear diffuser, I mean, it, it looks like it is real carbon fiber. Um, it has all the nice details that I, I, I've got hundreds of pictures of, of, of these cars and, you know, they're all made the same, regardless of whether it's this livery. I have not a Ted Le Mans, so I do not have pictures of this car in particular, uh, but I do have a lot of Ferrari 48s. They're one of my favorite cars. And I'll tell you, they've, they've got just about every detail on this, right? This thing looks like it is a look smut car and not a, um, not a, uh, a, um, Tarmac Works car. And there's a look at it from that angle. Really nicely done, folks. This is the complete package. And like I say, if you like this car and if you want this car, it is widely available on eBay. Uh, they made, like I said, they made like 10,000 of these things. So they're going to be there for some time. You know, there's no rush to get it if you if you not can't get it now for whatever reason. But they're not terribly expensive. I think they're around 25, 30 bucks. Um, uh, which for a car with everything that this has it is certainly well worth the price. Anyhow, that wraps up this review. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.